Okay guys, so welcome back. We're going to finish off today looking at the rock, paper, scissors uh, algorithm that we should have attempted uh, over half term. So uh, when I left you, I left you with a hint uh, about how to get started. And so we uh, printed 3, 2, 1, and then we got the player to choose. We turned it into lower case um, so we could remove any capitals that they might have put in. Uh, and then we checked to see if it was in the list that we'd made. So if they touched rock, it would find it in the list. If it didn't find it, it would say that's not a valid choice and start again. We then got the computer to make a random choice from the list as well. So both um, the player and the computer have chosen a choice. So for example, if I typed in rock, uh, it would show that uh, I've made a good choice. And then it shows me the two choices that were made, rock and rock. So I chose rock, the computer chose rock. So what we want to do now is start comparing the two choices. So we're going to, um, I'm going to leave this in. Later on in the game, I'm going to remove the because I actually don't want it to show me the, the player's choice, computer choice in this way. So I'll, I'll be changing those later on. So let's do some checking. So let's go if, and let's start with the easy one. So if player equals equals CPU. So if the player's choice is exactly equal to CPU choice, then print uh, bracket speech marks. It's a draw. Okay. Then I'm going to have an elif. We need to think carefully about the most efficient way to do this. So what I want to do is I want to see is um, the player's choice rock, but the computer's choice is paper. So we're going to say elif player equals equals rock so if the value of player equals rock so if they typed in rock then right and there are two possible options after this aren't there oh, sure that's right just then uh, so the computer could choose we can't have chosen rock because we've already checked if they're the same it can choose scissors or it can choose paper so I'm going to now have a second layer of if within my indent. So if the player's chosen rock, if CPU equals equals paper, so you've chosen rock, the computer's chosen paper, then you lose because the paper wraps the rock. So you're going to say print. You lose. Okay. Um, let's say paper beats rock. Okay. But then there's another option, isn't there? Now, my, I've got a couple of levels of indent here. I've got uh, this level, and I've got this level. And I want, if, if it's not paper, if the CPU hasn't chosen paper, I want to see if it's chosen rock, uh, it's chosen scissors. Now, Here's where we can be a little bit clever. I could type if CPU equals equals scissors, but there are only three options. It's either chosen rock, in which case we've already checked for that, and it, it's, we've checked and it's not. It could have chosen paper. The only choice left is scissors. So instead of writing out the whole thing, I'm going to just write else, because the only other option it could possibly have is scissors. So if I do else, I can be pretty confident it chose scissors. In fact, I can be totally confident. And say else print uh, you win rock rock beats scissors. Okay, then what I can do is use that as the basis for my other check. So we can then say, right, another elif. Let's scroll down a bit, guys, so you can see. In fact, let's move me over here. Okay. So we've got another edif now. So we've checked if the player chose rock. So now we're going to check if the player chose. So if the player's choice is equal to um, paper. 
Now, before I carry on, actually, what I want to do, I want to test the bit that I've done has already worked. So I'm going to put a hash in front of this line here. And what that hash does is it stops the computer from reading that uh, line when it runs the program. So it won't matter that uh, this bit isn't finished. I can put the hash and it will um, just ignore that line for now and then I can remove the hash later on. Uh, okay, so let's run it and see if I can choose rock because I've done that bit of code. So if I choose rock, does it then give me the option? So I can see that the computer chose scissors, I chose rock. You win, rock beats scissors. Should we test it one more time, make sure that's working before we get any further? So let's go rock again. That's the only choice I've programmed. Uh, it chose scissors again. Okay, let's go one more time. I really want to see it do something different. Awesome. So it chose paper that time, and you lose paper beats rock. Brilliant. So let's carry on with this second bit. So if the player chooses paper, then we're going to do another check. So if they choose paper, if the CPU has chosen now let's stick with our format so i chose the one that beats it to be the the, the first if check so uh, paper gets beaten by scissors so if the computer has chosen scissors then and i'm going to copy this line of code and paste it in so uh, you lose but i need to change this so it's not paper beats rock it's Scissors beat paper. Okay. And I've got a close bracket. Awesome. Okay. Then I can use this else trick again because I know there's only three choices. We've checked if they're the same. We've checked scissors. So the only one left is rock. So instead of writing the whole thing, let's just write else. Need to make sure that it's lined up so it needs to be indented exactly the same as that if, uh, which I am now. So else, remember else doesn't take any arguments, so it's, you can't put any um, checks after else. You can't say else if something is equal, it's just else, everything else. And we're going to print, uh, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy again. So I'm going to copy that bit of code because I know that it works. But I need to change this to paper beats rock. Okay. Uh, okay, so now I think I've got one more lot to do. I need to do the third bit, which is going to be. Well, do you know what, guys? I'm going to stop there because I think from there you should be able to do the final choice. So if the player chooses scissors and then build the algorithm from there. And when you've done that, I think you've got a finished and working game. Well done, guys, if you've already done it, if there's some hints and tips that you've picked up from this, that's great. If you think you've got a better way, I'd like to hear about that too. There are lots of ways to do this. Um, this is just the way I've chosen to show you, but you can do this in a number of different ways. Your way might be more efficient, so I'd like to hear about those too. Uh, best of luck, guys. I'll just leave this on screen for a moment so you can see uh, the code before we go. Let me just remove this guy and make this one bigger for you, and you can see what we've done today. Okay, guys, so that's what I've done today. So best of luck finishing it off. Uh, love to see your submissions, and we'll be starting something brand new next week. Till then, guys, look after yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye.